Hi everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. You're actually probably going to hear this intro again because we are going to revisit a makeup look I did, a different take on Cruella DeVille. Um, it was just an excuse to use this fabulous wig that was sent to me. So um, go ahead and uh, check it out. Thank you. Taken a paper towel. The sound quality in this video is Here. awful, so I'm just doing a little voiceover for a minute just to uh, let you know what I'm doing here. I'm going to use uh, paper towels as a base for um, my silicone skin I want to do, and right here I'm just mapping out kind of where I, I, I want to put the, the not silicone skin, latex skin. Um, but I'm just mapping out where I want to put the liquid latex. Now, I'm going to let the video go ahead and play through. Um, I will redo this look for everyone now that I have a camera with uh, the, where the sound works. The microphone actually works properly. But if you have any questions about what I did, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And I'll answer them. But I'll definitely do another video of this look. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoy it. while I do my makeup, we're going to discuss horror, horror movies and whatnot. I thought that would be fun. Um, who else a horror fan? I hope you're a horror fan. If you're here, I mean, if you're not, why are you on my channel? Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. Okay, and then I want to take this paper towel that I kind of trimmed and put it on there. It's going to serve. There are so many different ways to attain the look I'm going for. But this is the one I'm choosing to use. Maybe silicone would be good from third degree. Um, Thin wax would be good. Anything like that. Same thing over here. I probably should have cut out my paper towel before I did that, but here I'll just rip up some. It'll be fine, it'll still stick. So um, I just watched The Lost Boys again because I just kind of wanted to, since I'm going to make paper, I wanted to just refresh my memory. Turns out I forgot none of that movie. I remember the whole thing really well. The trim, I got to trim a little bit. I met Alex Winter the last spooktacular I went to. Well, it was probably the only spooktacular I went to. But I met him. And he was very nice. And make errors and oopsies work in your favor. You know? Unlike with some looks, I really can't work on anything else until this is dry. So. We're just going to kind of sit here and I guess talk about 
horror movies. Um, so yeah, I just watched The Lost Boys. I tried to watch Case 39 the other night, but for some reason the sound quality was really bad and I couldn't hear it. And I kept trying to turn it up and stuff and it was just nothing. Even the parts that are supposed to be loud with screaming and stuff, it was just... was nothing. It's kind of annoying, actually. So we want to make sure that we have a brush with a really skinny end because we're going to use it to help lift the latex when it's dry. So we're just going to wait for this to dry off and then we're going to lift it to make it look like skin flapping over. We're probably not actually even going to do that part until we get the foundation on. So, and when you're doing a look where you're going to do makeup over a prosthetic or on top of like some latex or something, it's very important not to use that foundation that changes, that is white and then changes to your skin tone. Um, because it won't do it on the latex product. So let me show you. Like I mean like this stuff right here see it's white and then you rub it in and then it just changes color it's supposed to match my skin tone but this hand has a lot of paint on it and I think it's confused but let me just try it on a surface like here's a little plastic surface we'll just put a little on there See, it'll change color because of my finger, but it'll be lumpy and not blend as well. You just want to use a, um, one that will, that's already, you know, gonna blend well with the product you're using. And that's another reason why we want this to be completely dry. Okay, so it's really dry on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting the makeup on. And I'm actually, in this area, I'm going to just go ahead and use my finger to put it on. And I want to be real careful because I don't want to get any makeup on this side. I don't know where, oh, here it is. <laughs> so I was about to say, I don't know where I put the foundation that this came up with. But I don't know where I put it. right in front of my face, quite literally. I should probably use something more pale for Cruella. But it'll be fine. Okay, so now that's dry enough, we can go ahead and start working closer to that area.
the nail. Oh, I like this one because it's got this nice pointy end here. So we can go ahead and just want to lift it just a little bit. We don't want to lift it too much to where it's just going to fall off. So, and as we use this, we don't want to push this too deep inside there. So it's important to like, pay close attention. Obviously, always be very careful around the eyes. See, rather than pushing it under there, I'm just pushing it. I just don't want to be that close to my eye. See, it already started falling off over here. Like right here, I may have to get under there with a spot of liquid latex to so easy a lot of people shy away from liquid latex but it's real easy if it wasn't easy they wouldn't sell it at Walmart I don't mean that as an off-color remark about Walmart shoppers we all have to shop at Walmart okay now I put a little bit on the end of my brush here I'm just gonna put it right there to hopefully to hold its place. Okay. Okay. And now we're going to do the same thing over here, but we're going to go under this way. good place to get it started. have done that I know that makes people crazy but I did it anyway so we're gonna work on her green these kits at, I was going to say Disney World, Jesus, 
I'm going to Disney World soon and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> but they have these little kits at Walmart in the makeup department. Um, they have uh, Sally from A Nightmare Before Christmas came out with the deal. Ursula, Harley Quinn, Jack Skellington, The Little Mermaid. And it's makeup and stuff and they're like $15. I was going to get one and try it out. can't bring myself to spend the money when I know I have all of the stuff necessary to do those lit looks right here in this room but my whole point of doing it would be to show y'all and recommend them if I thought they were good you know so maybe I will <laughs> then as that dries or when that dries I'll bring the green all the way up bit of blush. I did that dab on the other side. I did. That was enough. Bring that green all the way up. I wish I had some pearl. I do have pearl somewhere. I mean they're not real. I mean like fake pearl. Um, so anyway, back to horror movies. My favorite horror movie is Halloween. If you've followed my channel for any amount of time, you already know that. Um, I might even watch that tonight. It's about time. Usually I start watching it every day starting in April and I haven't, I haven't watched it at all in a long time. Okay, now I need to do the red lips. And I can't find my red lip. And I know she kind of has raised her thin lips. But I don't want to do that. I saw this woman one night. We were out for, it was in October, and these people were going to a Halloween party at a restaurant near where we were. So they walked by. And the one woman was dressed as Cruella, and she had two kids, and they were dressed as Dalmatians. They were pretty cute. I overdrew them because I want them to be bigger. And I also made them kind of cartoony. Puppies. Eric. Where'd you go? Okay, so that's good for the glam portion. 
No, wait, I'm gonna do her. I'm gonna do her back bottom. to stretch my legs. I've been sitting here talking a mile a minute and didn't even turn the camera on. Okay, so first of all, I apologized for pausing the camera because I had to get up um, and stretch my legs. Uh, my neurologist wants me to stand up a lot when I've been sitting down, you know, move a lot. And um, I was getting kind of stiff. So my instruction was, <laughs> While we're painting this side and down here white, we want to go under the flap, the latex flap. We don't want to put paint on top of it. Probably going to do a couple layers of white. There's a Dalmatian slash Great Dane that lives near us. He's so cute and he's so sweet, but he's got an owie on his leg and his legs really swollen up bad. And his owners aren't really friendly, so I don't want to ask them about it. I mean, they're nice enough they're just not you shouldn't have a sweet friendly dog if you're not going to be friendly you know what i mean i'm just saying you should or maybe they're just shy i shouldn't just say they're not nice they're maybe they're just shy okay i need to start giving people the benefit of the doubt and stop thinking everybody just hates me okay so we're gonna let that dry and while that dries, I'm going to very carefully take a sip of my drink. I'm so sorry. I'm thirsty. But i got to undo it without... Um, I think... While we do that, I'm going to contour her nose a little bit. Okay, horror movies again. I want y'all, anybody watching this, to tell me what your favorite horror movie is, or one of them, or, you know, whatever information you want to share about horror movies. We went yesterday to go grab dinner and go pick Marshall up, and we stopped at a gate station. A gate station is a convenience store those who don't know it's like a gas station convenience store and we stopped there to get some drinks and the young man working there was like hi hi and he started telling us that he just got back from Orlando we went to Halloween Horror Nights and we were like and I was like wow and I started talking to him and we talked for a long time <laughs> and it's funny because I don't really talk to a lot of people like that I mean I speak and I'm friendly but I I, I just don't really have anything to say really I'm just like I let them do the talking usually, but it was a conversation I was able to contribute something to. It happens so infrequently. I'm burping, sorry. Okay, so now we're going to let that dry. And while that dries, I'm going to hunt for a brush 
to do. I'm doing a terrible job at talking about horror with you guys. I'm gonna brush like this. And that's gonna go into the black. And we're gonna make spots. We're gonna make our spots. These mongrels don't even have spots. make our Dalmatian spots. Because the idea is Cruella is so obsessed with Dalmatians that she's actually turning into one. Do a little hidden Mickey. Not hidden because I just told you. But we did a little hidden Mickey <laughs> um, for the Disney folks who know what I'm talking about. Hidden Mickey. Okay, now, this part is gonna be a little different. So her skin is coming up, right? So there's gonna be bleeding, there's gonna be irritation. And I'm using a dark blood we don't want it to be super bright blood and this is actually just Marin paint I'm using right now not to hurry but I want to show Eric before he goes to sleep Fabulous. This looks better than I could have expected. I really like the way this looks. I was going to add some drippy blood to it. I honestly don't think I need it. I don't. So let's get the wig on and we'll look at the final look. Okay. Okay, so I love it. I love it. And the thing about this wig is it comes with a white ponytail. But I can't move it until I get the other ponytail <laughs> because this will, it's top heavy, side heavy, and it'll topple over. And then I got 
a black one. So isn't that cute? This wig is adorable. But anyway, a little different take on Cruella de Vil. I hope you enjoyed it. It turned out, I am very, very happy with the way it turned out. I really am. I got an itch. I'm not picking my nose. I had an itch. But anyway, I know I kept saying we were going to talk about horror movies and we really didn't talk about horror movies that much. So we're going to talk about horror movies in another Vlogoween video. Um, I think that, uh, that that should be the topic. Okay, the Vlogoween 3, let's talk about scary movies. <laughs> But still, I want to know your favorite scary movie, so write them down below. Or a Disney movie that scared you. Cruella scared the hell out of me. Um, the uh, swamp scene in Snow White scared me when I was a kid. Alice in Wonderland always freaked me out, and it's my favorite. Even when it was freaking me out, it's still my favorite. But look right here. It kind of looks like a dog's face. An eye, an eye, and the nose. <laughs> and my eye is the mouth. Well, anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Happy Vlogoween, and I'll see you again, hopefully tomorrow, if I don't slag off. <laughs>